In this video, I'm going to tell you how to use a lift bag. This is a lift bag. There are essentially four features to a lift bag. The first thing is somewhere where you can clip on the item that you're going to be lifting. This could be a weight or an anchor or something heavier than you want to lift by yourself. The second feature that a lift bag has is an opening at the bottom that you can allow air into the lift bag. The third feature that a lift bag has is, of course, the air pocket that the lift bag will fill, which will give it positive buoyancy to lift that heavy object to the surface. And the fourth feature that an air bag will have is a dump valve situated towards the top of the bag. That's so that you can let air out and control the ascent of the bag. In order to practice using a lift bag, what you need to do is weight your lift bag evenly on both sides of the strap. When you start to fill the lift bag, you might need to lift the top of the airbag so that the air can rise to the highest part of the airbag. When you fill the airbag, what you need to do is to take your regulator and put some air into the lift bag just by pushing on your purge valve. What you don't want to do is jam the regulator all the way up into the lift bag. All you need to do is make sure that the mouthpiece is just on the inside of the lift bag and of course you want to make sure that the opening of the lift bag allows you to get the regulator in. All too often the first thing I do is come along and go okay I've got the regulator in and the air is escaping all up over here. Ideally you want just enough air in the lift bag to make whatever object that you're lifting to the surface neutrally buoyant so that you could almost raise it just by pulling on the top of the lift bag to raise the bag up. Too much air and the lift bag will shoot to the surface at an uncontrolled speed. You need to be able to ascend with the lift bag at a controlled rate of no faster than 18 meters per minute. While you're ascending, the air in the lift bag is going to be expanding and so you need to control that rate by dumping a little bit of air at a time. Now, bear in mind that if you pull on that toggle, the air is going to rush out at a rapid rate. So you need to pull the toggle ever so slightly just to let the air escape very slowly. The best thing to do is to pull and release so that the lift bag doesn't release all its air in one go. If you were to release all the air in one go, the lift bag could drop like a stone and damage the goods that you're trying to raise to the surface or worse yet, injure somebody below. I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the link on the bottom right hand side of this video and I'll see you in the next video. We'll drop. <clears throat> and in So that it air <laughs> ah! let air in and you might need to lift the 